Hi, I'm David Ireland, the Wildlife Man. I'm out in Midwestern New South Wales, and we will be doing some culling of feral pigs and also foxes. But before we do, I'm going to interview some property owners. One about the habitat destruction caused by feral pigs, and also diseases spread by pigs to people and also to livestock. Now, I will only ever hunt on a property when I have permission from the owner. And I've had a chance to show my shooter's license and also my double S, double A membership. So, Richard, have the pigs really damaged your dam? Are you having problems sucking the water up, are you? What's happening here? Well, the pigs have just uh, wallow all around the edge of the dam and they make such a mess of it. They stir it up, they do all their droppings and urinate in it and it's just made it like soup. Yeah. But it's completely unsuitable for our sheep and cattle to drink. And I can see yeah. they've dug up all the way around the banks. That's right. Yeah, they've, they've virtually ruined the, the, this water supply from this dam. Absolutely. A local wheat farmer tells me about how he contracted Q fever from pigs. Uh, we're having huge problems with them uh, damaging crops. Yep. Uh, predation of lambs is also a big problem and they're also spreading disease. In fact, I actually contracted Q fever. Really? From pigs? From pigs, from wild pigs, yes. Tell me, how long did it take you to get over the Q fever? Uh, I spent nine days in hospital, really? um, quite gravely ill, and then spent another month at home with quite bad fatigue, sleeping up to 20 hours a day. And it took a further five years to fully recover from the extreme fatigue that I suffered. Feral pigs can drive cattle ranchers bankrupt by spreading dangerous diseases into the cattle. Rick, the pigs here are carrying leptospirosis. Yeah, correct, yep. What effect is that disease having on the cattle here? It's huge, huge, mate. Like sterilising cattle and 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 sterilising bulls and yeah, you know, like it's, it's one of those diseases. Well, next door neighbour actually went out of cattle for that fact. Really? Yeah, yeah. So what? The bulls carry the disease and exactly. then they infect the cows. Yeah, infect the cows and next before you know it, you you know, like you've got an infertile herd. Really? So yep. what are you going to do? Just get rid of them? Get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. So it must yep. cost a fortune. A fortune, mate, I think. I said, that drove the next door neighbour out of cattle. He's purely sheep man now. What percentage of the pigs have got this, these diseases? I, I think by the sound of the majority of them. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yep. God, it's a, it's a nuisance. Mate, it's a nuisance. That, and, that, and that's why to a certain degree we, we've got to eradicate wild pigs. Yeah. And we're not winning the battle, are we? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Pe people think in the city that they don't haven't seen wild pigs around, but out here they're a natural occurrence. You just see them on a daily basis. Yeah, hundreds of them. Mm. spot a large sow close to the trap. Even these sows have got <coughs> quite lethal jaws. Look in that mouth. And they can be quite dangerous, especially when they've got piglets near them. Oh, that one's finished. That's a really decent fox. And we've got this bloke spotlighting. Pretty late at night, we're very, very cold in the back of a Toyota. With some local guys that are very clever. Shot this one with a 243, which is a bit of an overkill. But these things are a horrific pest. They cause the, the extinction of so many native Australian animals. On the open paddocks, we chase the pigs. Look at the size of 
size of these guys. They're a big, strong animal. And there's, there's some nasty tusks in there. Now these tusks can easily rip up a dog or even a man. They're incredibly lethal. They grind against each other and they're very, very sharp. And the jaws of a wild boar are just so powerful they can crunch up the bones of a kangaroo without any trouble at all. Now I've showcased just some of the problems that feral pigs cause in Australia. Now if you'd like to be part of the solution and volunteer to be a conservationist, then visit the SSSAA website and check out the Farm Assist Program.